Alright, we're back for nine clues. This is obviously the second game in the series. And if you are curious about the first game, don't forget to check out the link in the description. I've got the link for the first playthrough there. Check it out, it's super cool. Alright, just setting my alarm here. Alright, cool. Let's get into this washing machine. Uh, I guess it could be a dryer, but I guess it could be both. <laughs> that could be one or the other. Toolbox keys. Oh, I was going to say, I don't think that actually works. Huh. Alright, let's go. Let's begin our hidden object adventures. Uh, Mayong. Oh, that's interesting. Matching pairs. Now, I wonder if this keeps up, because I've played uh, some of these. Okay, enough of that tutorial. Where it, the, the Mayong doesn't actually keep up with the hidden object seed. So like for example if I switch back and I find a bunch of stuff here in theory <laughs> if I find a bunch of stuff then uh, when I switch back to Nyong it doesn't actually keep up so I don't know we'll see if it actually does that. Yeah see it doesn't. I guess they can't really do that right because they won't know which pairs to take away or something. That's why I like the uh, other style. Uh, for example, like the actual jigsaw puzzle, I like that as an alternate because it keeps track of your puzzle pieces as you go through here. But anyways, that's good. I, I won't be able to actually miss an object by having an alternate, uh, you know, method to actually find stuff. So that's pretty cool. Spatula and a handkerchief. There's the handkerchief. Handkerchief. Ooh, I like that glass cutter. I want. That's Queen Elizabeth. She's actually on our stamps too. And then what I mean, what I mean by that is she's obviously in, on the British stamps, but she's also on the Canadian ones. Well, I mean, she's also on Australian and you know all the Commonwealth countries. I would assume. All right, fine. See so if I go back here now. I got to do all this to get that last one. That's just kind of meh. Again, I don't blame them. I don't know how they're going to track my young to make sure that pairs match up or whatever. It's kind of kind of weird that way. I can't even see the golden one that I want. Where the heck is it? Uh, oh, it's all locked down there. Alright, well, whatever. We'll go ahead and get this done. Do, 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 do. There, now it's free. Watch me screw this up too. <laughs> wow, I really have to go all that all that way? Wow. Anyways. We did it, and now we have sharp shears. Which is great because dull shears are a pain in the butt. We can go ahead and take care of that business. Ooh, it's a trap! Oh, wow. Let's go to the storage room. Ooh, creepy. Who's over here in the corner? Hello? Box cutter doesn't work? Wow, what is this poster here? This is crazy. What's with all these crazy hands? Yikes. We'll have to come back to that. Oh, hello, Mr. Crowbar. And welcome to our adventures together drawing is similar to the one I saw in the professor's office. Click to continue. How did you get here? Whoa. You don't understand. I did what I had to. The madness won't stop until I end it. The madness. Gordon I is inside. I need to get in there. Looks like we're going to need a key and I don't think crowbar is going to be key this time. No such luck. Definitely the music is super creepy. Uh, have I looked at any of this yet? Oh yeah, I have, because I remember Ashley, Ginger's question mark. Gordon Lefty. Gordon is one of Crow's patients. He suffers from delusions. Is he the killer? Gordon is crazy. He's planning something big. I need to stop him. Good, good, good. Not touch it as long as it's attached to that wire. 
pretty sure I see this wire here you're speaking of game. Uh, what is this? Paint can, alright. Let's back up. Really? Back into the sparkles? Yay. Let's do it. Why not? Uh, puppet. Oh, I see. We're making our scarecrow puppet. I like it. Uh, glue that on there. Okay. Oh, I see. Glue the arm. Got myself an arm. A mannequin arm. What does that say back there? This reminds me of my father. He was... He worked in... Uh, drafting drawings like that, making fasteners. He was kind of what inspired me to take drafting when I was in high school. Uh, I mean, at one point I wanted to be an architect. This is more of a mechanical drawing than an architectural drawing. Ooh, ooh, I like duct tape. I want all the duct tape. There we go. It's a mannequin arm. I still need to get this sucker out of here, don't I? Yeah. Oh, I'll say goodbye, crew. Oh, no, I kept it. Oh, best news ever. That moaning is really monalicious, isn't it? How the heck am I going to get that out of there? Oh. Oh, I see. I knew it. There's a fishing line rigged all over the place. It disappears into the ceiling. Mm hmm Whoa! Straight into the barrel of a gun. That is super dangerous. So how the heck am I gonna bypass that? Whoa! <laughs> creepy hands are creepy. Catch me if you can. Garden is insane. So we're gonna have to get that out of there by dealing with all these arms. So how am I supposed to deal with this? I don't know. It still feels like that would have been super dangerous, but <laughs> pull like cut the fishing line that's attached to the trigger. That feels a little. Gray gray, if you ask me. Oh, I see that can't go there. It's gotta go more. It's all lit up. Oh, nice. Wrong way, game. I like when they do put the glow around the parts. It does it a little less frustrating. Some puzzles. And there's fixed positions too, so that's really helpful too. Let's get into the machine room and find out what our creepy friend is up to. You! What? You'll spoil everything! <coughs> I need to get rid of that smoke. <coughs> what is he doing in there? This guy is definitely cray cray. Gordon Lefty. Smoke is coming from the furnace. It won't budge, you need to force it open. <coughs> this box is making that smoke. I need there. to get rid of it. Yeah, coal is hot. I still love this glove though. Ooh, hot coal is hot. Hot stuff, everybody. Okay, so what do we have here? Can we crush it? Yes, we can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I just can't pick it up with my hands. Oh, no. Speaking of cray cray. Pull the string. It's going to have something in it, isn't it? I don't like this. A drunkard. Yeesh. Uh, I think you can cut that, can't we? Maybe? It's showing something over there. I don't 
No. No, I guess not. Whoa, why is it all like fuzzy in here? I saw it in my dreams. Dead. Everyone killed by that demon in the strange hat. Why won't Crow believe me? I'm safe in here. If the demon finds me, I can always use the secret escape room to reach my hideout. Yeah. Well, his hideout was in here, right? Because he crawled through there. He's liking a little bit of the whiskey there, Garden. He's a little bit of a whiskey aficionado. Aficionado. Sure, something like that. Hmm. Needs a fuse. So what am I supposed to be doing? I, actually, you know what? I have a map. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Basement corridor. Storage. And of course, <laughs> the map leads me to where I am right now. Does it really want me to do this? Yes, it does. So now I've got a brush with coal dust. Pretty sure that's going to be for this. But we still need this thing here, though. So that does not get me all the way to where I need to be. And yet, it still says I'm supposed to be here. I do like this map. These crazy symbols are really neat. But there's something else creeping around in here, and I don't know if it's scary or not. Nothing there. I swear I'm supposed to cut these gears down. But I don't know how. You don't think so. Doesn't that make sense? Then it's... Oh, you're supposed to grab them. Okay. Why didn't you say so, game? Ooh. Oh, there's our fuse. The old-fashioned porcelain fuse. So I'll put that in play over here. Ding, ding, ding. Uh... Whoa! First time is a charm. Woo! Let's go! Stay away from me! You don't understand! <laughs> what is happening? I'm like punching them. Good grief. I must be losing my mind. No kidding, that makes two of us. What the heck was that all about? I guess we're supposed to go this way then. Oh no! Ah, uh, okay. How am I supposed to do this? Oh, I see. I'm supposed to spot the footprints. Hmm. Interesting. Am I done here? This must be Gordon's hideout. Indeed, there's even footprints here. Well, let's just charge right in and see Gordon, what's going on. I'm not here to hurt you. You can't stop me, little girl. I'm sorry, love, but don't interrupt me. I'm going to kill him, erase him from the face of this earth. I'm not getting killed like Professor Crow. He was weak and felt he deserved it. You see, I know who's behind this. I know who's behind the murders and the fire. There's only one way to end this. To kill the person responsible. Raskoff. What? No, you're cray cray. Gordon's gone. What was he doing here? We have a crime scene. My favorite part of this whole game. Yay. I like solving crimes. 
Yeah, click on everything that looks a little bit out of shape here. Darts. Those look like worms over there. Okay, we got two more to go. And then we will reenact the mystery. Something's going on here though. Okay. Bolt cutters don't count as anything. Something over there, a bit of a spill, I see. And now we gotta rearrange. Rearrange and Good to know that those are a match. Boom, let's hear it. Deduction, go. Gordon throws darts at the poster. Hastily, he searches his toolbox for something and makes a spill near the sink. He then opens the cupboard and brings out a box of dynamite. Gordon takes a fistful of dynamite sticks, cuts some wire, and wires the dynamite. He smashes a bottle of whiskey against the wall. He adds nitroglycerin to his bomb. He rips the map off the wall. Then he throws it in the corner. He goes outside and locks the door. He takes the bomb with him. I need to get out of here and warn everyone. Sounds like a good strategy to me. Yeah, fire in city center, 1948. Hmm. How could she remember the fire? Arson, arson is caught. He was dressed in a weird outfit. He looks like the scarecrow. Ah, totally familiar. Not sure what we're doing here. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to figure out how to get out of here. Looks like some kind of code. It may be important. Codes are cool. 273. Oh, there's a bomb. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Just boom, there's a bomb. Uh, maybe we cut that open. Or we just grab it. July 1950. No one knows how the fire started. I tried to redirect the water to the fire system, but the damned valve wouldn't budge. It clutched my right palm. It took the fingers. Lucky for me, I was drunk that day and couldn't feel a thing. I don't know if that's really lucky. It's more of a short-term thing, right? Not to feel the pain. It's really not a long-term thing. Am I just gonna shove this through here? Yep. Yeah. Yeah! Spilling formal liquid on the floor sounds like a great idea. No, it does. It gives it a mess with me. Okay, so why do I need this? I don't think I do need that. Got some dramatic music. I should trim the fuse. Alright, trimming fuse. Hold your ears. Wait, what? What happened? Ah, I'll add a little extra oomph. <laughs> Some inflammable fluid. Boom! Get yourself a little new doorway! The asylum building is intact. I need to hurry. Oh, this is such a cool car, running backwards. Hey, isn't that... Wait a minute, wait a minute, let me check. Oh wow, we're actually adding to the information here. Ah! Who is that? Good question. Gordon wants to plant a bomb in the asylum. Jenny Ja. Ashley, yes, there's Ashley. Uh, hi there. Nobody else is going to. What? What? Gordon has a bomb? You need to warn Miss Kleitz. Gordon has a bomb. There's no time. Go, please. 
I will do it. I will do it. What's going on? Who Go is that? Him. Go get him. He's got a bomb. He wants to murder one of the patients. We need to stop him. I know, I know. We need to stop him. We got you, buddy. Let's find out what you got in here, mister. Ah, it's a bomb. It's a bomb. We gotta fix this one quick. Well, I don't think we have to fix it that quick. Uh, let's see here. Two. Oh, you know what? I bet you the green goes there. Orange is two. Uh, this is seven. So, what else? No, not quite. What's orange? Orange is two. Boom! There goes two. Now, uh, green. Boom! There goes green. Now we just need seven. Uh, right there. The bomb is disarmed. Phew! The bomb is disarmed! Alright, lunatic. Speak up. <laughs> I ain't telling you squat. Tell us before I break your teeth in. It's Zed. Zed Roscoff. He's the arsonist who torched the city back in 48. He's the one who started the fire four years ago. He wants us all dead. He's the one responsible for killing that little girl. What are you talking about? Ginger. Ginger Bellows. A young girl sent here from an orphanage. Roscoff lied to Crow about getting better and... What the... How did you? Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. Stay away from me. <laughs> what is this doing? He is totally the scarecrow. Oh my goodness. Oh no, he's made me like drunk or something. Where? Hallucinations. Am I? What are we doing here? Well, we're out of time, folks. We're going to have to find out what's going to happen next in the next episode. Nine Clues, number two. I'm your Gibbs. Thank you all for watching. This game is crazy!